You can start Sleeping Giant's quest next to the Doll Arena in Alcarate. For this quest you will need 15 smithing and items such as hammer, chisel, one wool, three oak logs and 15 nails of your choosing. I am going with steel nails. The quest is safe from combat, you don't need to fight anything and it's about 10 minutes long. So let's get started. You start the quest talking to Kovac who introduces himself and asks you to come help him in his cave. Go to the cave and talk to him again. He says he wants you to fix up Giant's Foundry and needs your help. The entire minigame revolves around three main tools. The first one is polishing wheel. Click on it, it fixes itself. The second one is grindstone, same technique again. And the third one is trip hammer, same thing again. Remember, these three are vital parts of the minigame later on. After you fix all three workshop tools, talk to Kovac again and you will be taken out of the instanced area. Talk to him again and he will ask you to make a sword for him. Search the crate next to the entrance. You will need 20 inventory slots free to search. And you will get almost a full inventory of supplies, bars, swords, armor. Use all of those things on the crucible right next to the bank chest. After that, speak to Kovac again and he will ask you to make a sword now. The type of sword is different for every player in the quest. For me, it was flat broad sword. It could be different to you, but the idea is same for everyone. Click on the mole cheek and you see an interface. Every sword has a forte, a blade and a tip. Since my sword was flat broad, that's what I'm gonna do. I want to start with a flat forte, so I'm gonna choose the first one. Then I'll move on to the blade and I want to make a broad blade, so I'm gonna go with the fish blade. And then to end the mold, I'm gonna pick a gladius point. Just pick the shape that is used for your sword and once you have the mold, speak to Kovac again and now it's time to pour the metal from the crucible to the mold. After a small animation, speak to Kovac again and he asks you to cool down the sword. Grab a bucket from the corner of the room and use it on the waterfall. You can also bring your own bucket if you want. Use the bucket of water on the mold to cool it down. Speak to Kovac and he will ask you to pick up the sword. Now it's time to boot use the three workshop tools we repaired beforehand. An interface will appear on top of your screen, which will show you the perfect way to finish the sword. Firstly, you will start with the drip hammer. Make sure both of the arrows stay at red. The first bar is heat, the second bar is how far you have progressed. You want the sword to be hot while you use the drip hammer, so when it loses temperature, just dunk it into the lava and it will make it hot again. Repeat the process until the bottom arrow reaches the yellow zone. Once you have that, it's time for the second tool, the grindstone. Now for this one, you want both of the arrows to be at the yellow line. The grindstone is gonna heat up the sword naturally, so sometimes you want to use the waterfall to cool down the sword and keep it between the yellow lines. The whole process is about making sure you have the right temperature and the right tool. Keep using the grindstone until you have reached at the end of the yellow line and adjust the temperature on the waterfall whenever it's needed. And the final tool is polishing wheel. While using the polishing wheel it naturally loses temperature. So once or twice during the process dunk it in the lava to make the sword hot again. Again use the lava or the waterfall to make sure both of the arrows either stay in green, yellow or red depending on which tool you are using. Once you are done with the third tool, the sword is now completed. Talk to Kovac again and after a lengthy talk, congratulations you have completed Sleeping Giant's quest. You are awarded 1 quest point and 6000 smithing experience. Make sure to subscribe, I will also have the entire Giant's Foundry minigame guide out by tomorrow and I'll see you guys then. Thank you, bye!